All right, what's going on, everyone? Today, we're playing a deck that I have had my eye on since uh, this was released. If you're not familiar with this, we have three creatures that we're winning the game with. Let's talk about those first. We have Ledger Shredder, two mana, one, three. When a player cast their second spell each turn, we connive, which means we draw and discard. We have Hadijin, which will have power equal to the number of instants and sorceries in our graveyard. And well, just uh, all of this. All of this, we have, uh, we have a bunch of them. And then we have this, which is sort of our build around, sort of. It is a 3 mana 2 2 prowess. So when we play non creatures, it gets plus one plus one. And then whenever we cast a non creature, we make a 1 1 with prowess, which gets kind of crazy. So we have these three creatures. That's cool. But then what? Well, we have Helping Hand and Recommission. And there's a third card in standard we could be playing, but there's only so much room. But what this does is it returns a creature card with mana value three or less from the graveyard to the battlefield tapped. And that counts for all of these. We have Recommission, which will do the same thing, but put a plus one plus one counter on it. Oh yeah, I guess we technically have this creature. I almost never cast out as a creature, but fine, we have this. And then a lot of the rest of our deck is trying to get this stuff in the graveyard so we can reanimate it. So this is sort of a reanimator deck. So we have this. By the way, when I was looking for a list to play, I haven't played this yet, by the way. Like, no one was playing this. I was like, why is no one playing this? This seems perfect. So, I don't know if we should be playing this. No one else is, or at least not many people are, but this just seems so good. It uh, draws two discards, too. So we're looking to uh, just draw two, discard these, and find these. We have Mill 4, Get a Spell, which is hopefully going to be one of these. We have uh, Draw 2... Discard one, unless we attacked, and we're actually okay with casting this first main phase on purpose, so we can discard one of these. We have Consider, which uh, draws, but a Surveil, so for Lucky, we can get one of these in the graveyard. Um, these are just removal here, and what's interesting about this is, while we're digging for more stuff to reanimate, we're just pumping out one ones like crazy. And they're all getting big, right? You know, we're just playing spells, playing spells, playing spells. We're building an army of these monks. And then they get bigger the more spells we play. So that's the whole idea. It looks pretty cool. I haven't played it, but I know it exists and it's been around. And we're just going to play it and we'll see how it goes. All right. We will try this. And um, no creatures, but that's sort of expected. We don't have a ton of them. We'll play this first just in case we want to play Consider. I don't want to play it now until I know... If they're playing aggro, it doesn't look like it. I'll go ahead and do this, I guess. Auto pay. Um, I need... I already have one of those. I'm going to put it in the graveyard. I can recast it from the graveyard. There's a ledger shredder. That's pretty good. So we'll play that. Now we're looking for creatures to discard. We can mill four. We can draw and discard here. We have removal. We have a reanimation spell. Sure. All right. Land... So, I guess our, our best bet is to do this and see if we hit a one mana spell. It tapped both my blue sources. Uh, do I have a creature? Yeah, I'll take this then. It's kind of annoying. Play this. Reanimate this. Not a not a great thing, but it gets us to draw and discard some more. Um, Discard one of these charter courses. And attack for two. If it hadn't uh, tapped both my blue sources... I could have grabbed uh, Consider instead and got that draw and discard just the same. I had to blow a reanimation spell, but I have another one. So if we top deck a land, I play this. Draw two, discard two, hope we hit a, a mentor or something. Quali, okay. Okay, Gruel. Interesting. We do hit the land, but now do I want to kill that? I think so. I think I'm just going to... Well, I could... Uh, Let's do this first to see what we find. Okay, so probably we can discard one of these and actually probably just both of them to be honest. That's fine. And then we'll play this. Hit you. Connive. Perfect. So we'll reanimate that next turn. Attack for four. When it goes to 14. So next turn we'll recommission first. Get the mentor back. Then chart a course. Um, do I chart a course after attacking? I probably do it before. I think. Um, yeah, let's do this first. Get you. We'll do this. Because I want to discard. Typically. 
Um, I can just cast that though. And I don't have a reanimation spell, so I'll discard the land. Um, I guess the land again. Um, and then attack. Down to 10. Are they playing, uh, like a red based, no, red based removal or uh, board sweeper? Doesn't look like it. Sure. Draw. Discard the land. All right. I mean, I can generate so many chump blockers. I can play that too. I say we get chump blockers though. We'll play this. We will do this. Get so many chump blockers. <laughs> nice. Uh, yep, there we go. I mean, hey, there we go. First game worked pretty well. Fortunately, opponent was a little bit slow. Kind of a clunky draw for that deck. All right, game two. Let's try to do it again. And I mean, that's kind of perfect. We got a way to discard. We got a way to reanimate. All seems fine to me. Blue. Okay, so this is the... Oh, I should have played that. Whoops. Yeah, it plays that in that Schooner thing. Um, there's like an Azorius build. There's a Simic build. There's a... There it is. There's a Demir build. Yeah, so this can reanimate... Or uh, crew this. Sure. So... I can either just play one of these or try to be tricky, but I think I just play one. Play it like so. They don't have mana, so they can't counter. They're looking at their hand immediately, which usually means they have removal. Like whenever I play something and I immediately see these cards light up, it's like they're looking at their removal, right? So I expect this to die, but I can reanimate it next turn. It's fine. Uh, or does it get exiled? No, that's just a 5-4. Okay. But see, this is a pretty aggressive deck. Um, I'm taking this this turn, and the next turn, I should be able to generate. Oh, yeah, this is pretty good. It will do this, target this. They can get a couple map tokens, that's fine. Yep, discover three. Gets another vehicle. Sure. Yep. Alright, um, let's play this. Get a couple one ones. I will discard the mentor because I will get it back next turn. Put that in the graveyard. And there's another one. And we will attack for six. And now we just we can chump block. Throw these in front of the boat. The schooner. Alright, haywire might. That can blow up um non-creature enchantments and artifacts. Alright, draw. Discard the Hottie Gen because I can just reanimate it. I have lots of re uh, reanimation. Cruise. Yep. I can block both of these. No big deal. And I will. Or at least I'll block one. Okay. Yeah. Explore. Explore. Sure. Alright. So we can block this. Do I take six? I don't think so. I mean, can I win on the backswing? They're tapped out. Actually, do I just not block at all? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They're tapped out. Um, let's just try to win. Okay, cool. So we we can play this. We can get this. We can play this. I should have done this in the other order. I would have gotten an extra 1-1. One, one. We'll do this. We'll draw. We'll discard Ledger Shredder. So that's 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That is lethal. All right. Well, <laughs> I mean, that's pretty cool. It's working. It feels pretty good, actually. Nice. Reach gold rank. Look at me. By the way, I've got a few comments before because, you know, I make guides, right? I played this game for 20 years. I, I make challenger deck upgrade guides. So every once in a while, I get a comment from someone saying like, why are you playing at such a low rank? You should be at Mythic if you're, you know, giving advice. Guys, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. Ready? Ready? Uh, the, the season ends in 14 days. And uh, I'm level 53 on the Mastery Pass. And the reason I'm so low, I'm halfway. God, it's 90 levels. A little bit more than halfway. Uh, I just don't play, guys. I'm sorry. A lot of the time when I do play, it's, uh, I'm like just playing silly decks and unranked. I need to get back to the five rare budget series. I kind of fell off of that. Haven't made a video 
in a series in a long time. We have two mana to play this to discard both of these. And then we have reanimation of removal. Seems fine. But yeah, I played the game for 20 years. You know, I've, I, I've played a lot. I don't know how many thousands of hours I have playing Magic, but it's a lot. But uh, I don't grind the ranked ladder on this game. I, I've complained. I, I really wish there was some sort of like overall profile rank as opposed to seasonal ranking. Because I, I don't have that much time to dedicate to grinding every month. It's, it's so it's so time consuming for like most seasons. Like I play Rocket League or used to. I haven't played Rocket League very much. But their seasons will last three months. Three, three to four. It just seems like a more, more reasonable amount. I think I want to play Ledger Shredder instead of Faithful Mending. It probably gets uh, destroyed. But honestly, just eating some removal is fine because they're going to have a lot of it. Or counter spells. This is the Toxic, uh, Demir Toxic deck. I assume, anyway, with this counter spell. And yeah. Alright, Toxic. So we have to be fast. And we can be if we want to. I think I want to play this. They probably have removal for it. They do nothing, but they looked at it a lot. The good news is this deck doesn't have board sweepers, so... If I can go wide, that's great. I mean, if I get one turn with this, I can get a bunch of tokens. Great, 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 great. So we'll start with this. Draw two, discard two. A uh, creature. I guess Hottie Jen is fine. And then we're going to, that's the wrong thing. We'll play this. I guess I take Hottie Jen. Although it can be killed with a, no, it can't. I was going to say it could be killed with a uh, cut down. But if they had cut down, they would have they would have killed Mentor. Alright. We probably play Consider End of Turn to get another token. And then next turn we can play this. We don't, don't play the land. Got to be aware of that. This reducing the cost of Faithful Mending in the graveyard is also nice. Alright, we'll play this. Get another 1-1. One, one. I can't get it to a 5-5, five, five, but I'll get another 1-1 one, one at least. Um, that doesn't do enough. And it's a land, unfortunate, but we can filter them with the Faithful Mending. They don't play a creature, we potentially just go for the kill here. We just need to find spells off of Faithful Mending, or we draw that. So, uh, I should draw a discard first to see what we get, right? Let's draw a discard. Prowess triggers. Probably discard, yeah, discard get lost. Discard one land. Play this. We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, they might have, uh, they might have removal. Uh, counter spell. That is fine. But now they're tapped out. So now we know we win. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now we already have lethal. But we'll do this anyway. Just to assert our dominance. I'll take that. Yep, nice. <laughs> I mean, this deck is working. Way better than expected. I mean, it is. I have seen it in the top tier, like on, on metagame tracking websites. I played against it a few times. So yeah, it makes sense. I put out a community post, by the way, because I tried to record a video with uh, Arclight Phoenix, which is also, like, this is very Phoenix-y. And uh, that did not go well. <laughs> it, it did not go well at all. Uh, this is going much better. Or 3-0. This is fine. We have a way to draw and discard. We have a way to discard. We have reanimation. So yeah. Play Ledger Shredder. They are playing Gulgari. So that means removal. Yep. Gulgari mid. They drew it. They, uh, got, they didn't watch my video. They didn't watch my video. They did that wrong. Imagine if I was facing a 3-2 right now. It'd be so scary. But uh, I'm not. They'll probably kill my creature though. So it's fine. Whatever. Uh, Preacher of the Schism. Land is great. So I should play this. Draw... To discard one, discard Hottie Jen. Then we'll play this. Reanimate Hottie Jen. That way we can also draw and discard. Nothing that I want. I think I can discard one of these lands though. And attack for one. Because I'm not blocking. Alright, we'll see how this goes. I think I went undefeated when I played this. And uh one of the up oh, well, that's not good. I've get lost though, it's fine. Is it an instant? It is. Of course it is. I knew that. Because I play magic all the time. Uh, so we'll do this. Great. Uh, we will now draw. Hmm. If only I had creatures to discard. I think I... Mill four. Draw. No creature. 
I can discard the Faithful Mending and just cast it from the graveyard. It's fine. And there is a... Whatchamacallit thing. I'll take another... Uh, maybe i just take the Faithful Mending back, to be honest. Yeah, I'll take this. And then I will recommission... Get you. Great. I could play another spell, but I think I just attack. And we hold this up, play it in response to whatever. Maybe another Shieldred. Well, that sucks. Nothing I can do about it. There's no counter spells in this deck. It's very linear. Oh, I should have cast this in response, maybe. Maybe. Well, I get the draw and discard here. It's another one. Hmm, I'm very torn here. I guess I'll discard this. I can always cast them from the graveyard. It's fine. Sure. Yep, no blocks. Okay. So let's... We're going to do this first main phase because we have the prowess, right? We can also draw and discard. Yep. Alright, so what creatures do I have? None. Alright, well, good to know. So, probably play the land. Draw to discard to. Yep, get another thing. Um, This is for Ledger Shredder. And then we'll draw to discard. I guess these two are fine. All right. Sure. And then attack all. Yep. All right, down to uh, seven. So even if they have like a removal spell for this, I just reanimate it, kill something, make another one, one. Sure. So this has, uh, no, it doesn't have lifelink. The tokens have lifelink. It has death touch. So that's fine. I'm never. I'm at 18 life. These gain two, by the way, so they're great against like red aggro and stuff. Didn't mention that in the deck tech that these gain two, gain two life. Another one, sure. I get to draw and discard. Um, just discard that land. Sure. Don't even care. Not not intimidated. I will take three. I will not take three. Okay, so let's start by drawing and discarding. Yep, get triggers here. Okay, I'm getting my reanimation, but no, uh, nothing to reanimate. Which is a little bit awkward. Probably we destroy the Death Toucher. Browse triggers, draw, discard. Uh, don't need it. I have three Faithful Mendings I can cast, so I don't need the, that thing. So attack with all of these. Yep. Yep. And that's death. They gain... No, they gain life. Dang. It's not death. It's death this turn. I mean, like, what, what happens? They board wipe. I reanimate this. I cast these to get one ones. Like, I feel pretty good. This deck is very resilient. Again, very much like... Is it nice? <laughs> they lost one to their thing. Um, I mean, this is feeling great. It's very resilient. It's very consistent. We're doing our thing basically every turn. Every turn, every game. We're doing our thing every game. Not every turn. I don't think we've lost, so let's uh, play until we lose, I guess. See how long that takes. Every time I say that, I don't know if I ever say it on my, in my Magic Arena videos, but every time I say it in Marvel Snap on my gaming channel, I'm like, all right, we're playing until we lose, and then I, I lose the next game every single time. So let's lose this game. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's, that's it, I guess. This is fine. I'll uh, play this tapped. Not that it matters. We'll mill. Look for uh, discard and reanimation. See, Crumb Coast is fine. We'll do this now. Just in case it's a Demir control deck with counter spells. Uh, we get the reanimation. Perfect. So we can get Hadi Gen. It will be a 0 4, but it'll be a 1 4, because this will be in the graveyard. Rakdos. Rakdos Discover. Yeah, it looks like it. Rakdos Aggro. Rakdos Discover. I'm going to play this deck soon. I haven't played it yet, but I have a build crafted. So am I... I guess I'm... No, I need to get a creature down this turn, don't I? Let's just play this, and if they kill it, I will reanimate it. That's fine. Three mana. This deck plays... Almost every deck I saw when I was building my uh, build had a... Uh, like five to seven removal spells. Usually not this one though. This was uh, most decks played like one. I have one in mine. Um. All right. So we're definitely reanimating. Let's do this. 
Let's grab this. It doesn't play board sweepers. So we'll play this. We'll reanimate. We will... I don't have any creatures to discard to this. So probably just doing this. Get a 1-1. One, one. We're really looking for more reanimation because we don't have any. And we find it. Great. I mean, this deck is so consistent, man. So now they kill my mentor again. And then I reanimate it again. Yep, I will take three. Or they change their mind. I mean, I get to crack back for a lot if they commit to this, which they do. So hopefully they have another creature. They do, and it's a death toucher, so that sucks. That sucks a whole lot. So let's... I want to draw and discard first to see if I find, like, removal or something. Um, I do not. Oh, I kind of do. So, what? I think I can discard Consider and see Chrome Coast. I will Fading Hope this. Things get big. I will put this on the bottom, I think. I will play this. I will get Hadijin back. More prowess triggers. Attack for 10. When it goes to 12. Again, no board sweepers. So now if they have removal for my my two big things, I'm going to have tons of prowess guys. Yep. That's probably going to hit a removal spell. Hits a blood tithe harvester. Which is sort of a removal spell, just a very slow one. That's fine. Will they sacrifice their first one to kill my mentor? They do not. Okay, so... Let's... Uh, start with this. We will draw two, discard two. Land... And I guess this... I guess... We will draw two, discard two. More prowess triggers. I will discard this so I can reanimate it. And one of these. I will play this. I will play this. I will grab this. Okay. And now we will attack all. This deck is so, so fun. Uh, I, I'm, I'm really liking this. Yeah, sure. Kill my thing. But what about all the other damage? What about all the rest? All right. Well... You know, I, I said I didn't play very much. I might play more because <laughs> I just want to play this deck. This is very cool. This is definitely uh, the type of deck that I like to play. So nice. I'm going to go fast you rank up. Why, why don't I play more? I don't know. I, I did a years ago. I did a speed ranking video and I got to platinum in like two hours so it's like it's not like it takes time i just don't play rank like basically all my ranked games are on camera and then when i'm not recording i'm uh playing casual or jump in or i'm quick drafting i have a lot of gold saved up i don't feel like uh i don't know if it's just me i don't feel like spending money on the ravnica set i just don't think it, it like it's just it's not speaking to me um you know I, i've seen some of the previews and it's just like i don't care about the set very much so i'm just gonna quick draft it a bunch not spend money on it this is all fine no way to discard, notably. So hopefully, Consider finds a Monastery Mentor on top. And that would be insane. Okay, red aggro. And we have kind of a slow hand. Um, I'm going to take the one this turn. And, well, we do find something to reanimate. That's great. Not, uh, not exactly what I was looking for, but it'll work. All right. So, is this the one that enters tapped? It enters with a counter. Okay, so do this. It's the one mana one that enters tapped. Come on, oh, sure. So if they make me draw and discard here, I discard Hadi Gen, then get it for two mana instead of three. Can't decide if they want to attack or not, which tells me they probably have burn. And they're trying to see if it's worth it to try to bait a block. Or they're just outsmarting me. Uh, could be... Okay, play with fire. Yeah, they did have it. So draw, discard Hadi Gen, two reanimation spells now. Yep, down to 13. Okay, so let's mill first, I think. No, I really want to play this, don't I? Because I want it untapped. So we'll play this, we'll target this. And I want to play this now. So I get the draw and discard. I will discard 
Uh, probably the land actually is fine. This deck can operate on very, very few lands, which is pretty cool. Especially considering how many spells. We're like casting like four or five spells per turn. But we're, we also like, we can just throw our lands into the, gra into the graveyard and that's fine. Okay, so do we just play Haughty Gen? Or are we trying to be fancy here? I mean, if I play two spells, I discard. Yeah, so I play this. I drew, um... I guess I'll take that. That's fine. And then I can pay one to mill. That's going to trigger Ledger Shredder. Which draws. I can discard Haughty Gen. The only bad thing here is the Haughty Gen will enter... Uh, wait, can I... Did I, have I played a land? Never mind. The Haughty Gen does not... Oh, yeah. It costs one less. Just, just forget everything I'm saying. I don't know what I'm talking about. But, um... Uh, I, I don't want to... I want to save this, actually. Let's just attack. Four. Could I have killed them? No. Actually, if I hit four spells, I guess I could have. We'll play this... No, I shouldn't play it end of turn. Yeah, if I hit four spells... I would have killed them with this. Actually, yeah, just four. I needed exactly four spells for that to work. Sure. Resolve. Gain control of it. Do I lose? No, because it gets smaller because it's on their side. Five. Um, I do not lose. Down to three. Scary, though. All right, let's just attack. Uh, I would have lost if uh, it, it shrank because it, it, it's based on their graveyard. Well, that was a close one, but yeah, I don't think the opponent, it doesn't matter, right? They were dead, so they had to do something, but do I, am I really playing until I lose? This video is going to be so long. All right, we'll play one more. I will say this deck is very fun. Uh, maybe I'm having fun because <laughs> I can't seem to lose. Um, we have ways to discard, no reanimation, um, but if I draw one more land, I can just cast this stuff. So I guess it's fine, and we're going first. So we'll play this. Red aggro again, yeah. Okay, this might be the loss, because my hand's a little clunky. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I can reanimate right there. It's fine. So if they play two spells here, um, I discard one of these, reanimate it. They don't. So I kill that with get lost. Yeah. No blocks. Hmm. Do I risk it to find a land? I don't think so. I think we just do the safe thing. We'll do this. He will no attack. There's no reason for me to do that. I should have waited to uh, see if they have like a monstrous rage or something. If they attack, it's terrifying. Okay, they're, they're trying to get a counter on it. Makes sense. We can kill that too, though. Okay, so it's a 3-3. Put it in the graveyard. Yep, I will take the re, go to 13. Did say it was a clunky hand. It's not looking great. I need one more land and I'll be fine, I think. It'll let me cast two spells this turn. I mean, I can technically cast two, but it's not great. Uh-oh. Huh. So do I do the safe thing and kill the 3-3? Three three, or do I do the risky thing and try to find a land and then kill the 3-3? Three three and get a draw and discard? I think I'm going to be risky here. Land? Yes. Okay, it's fine. Uh, this costs life, though, which is less fine. So now we can kill this. I'm doing it this turn, so I cast two spells, so I trigger this. Draw, discard. We'll discard. I think... Oh, that's so good. I think we do this because I just want jump blockers. I want numbers on the battlefield so I can put stuff in front of aggro creatures. No attacks, because I want to block. They have a lot of map tokens. So this turn I reanimate first, then chart a course. No, don't do it. Why you gotta be like this? All right. Why? Oh, opponent messed up. Opponent messed up. Get the counter. Oh, need another one. They need another spell. Oh, that's a rage quit. We got a rage quit. They forgot about the counter. All right, we didn't lose. I don't know what to say. That was just really good. Holy crap! That was that was a really. I always. No, I say this whenever I play a tempo deck. I just always feel good playing tempo decks. I don't know, man. I just you give me a tempo deck and I'll 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 feel I'll feel great. Let's see what's in these packs. Hopefully, good things. I mean, that's pretty good. I'm totally happy with that. I forget what's in the set that I might want, but it's probably this card. Um, it wasn't that card. I mean, this card's okay. Okay, 
Well, guys, that is, uh, this, this tempo deck is, uh, it's pretty cool. I should probably do a budget build of this then, and, well, Ledger Shredder. Ledger Shredder is very expensive. I mean, all of this is bulk, common, uncommon. I know Hottie Jen is like a dollar or two each. I don't think Monastery Mentor is that expensive. I mean, it was like a bulk, rare, and modern, right? Th this is a reprint. It's an old card. So I think this is the outlier. If we can get this for cheap or find a budget replacement, we could probably do a budget boat of this. Because there's no way any of this is that valuable, right? I and mean, maybe Get Lost is. We can replace that with Ossification. We have all of this is bulk. I don't know. Maybe we'll do that soon. But uh, that was really fun. That's a really cool deck. I think this might be my new main standard deck when I don't play ranked ever. And that's pretty cool. So yeah, hope that's interesting. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.